My name is Emily Guest and I'm a doctoral candidate at Oklahoma State University in Kristen Baum's lab and I study butterflies and butterfly communities. And I'm going to describe the differences between uh, migratory monarchs and non-migratory monarchs. So the monarch butterfly has two forms uh, that it can come out in every year. The migratory form which is the most well-known form. It, they can live for seven months. They have longer, narrow, narrower forewings. And the, the non-migratory monarch has shorter, rounder forewings. And for us in Oklahoma, we will see the first monarchs of the year in spring, usually around April. And that's the first generation that's been laid by the overwintering generation. So in March, February every year, the overwintering generation will leave Mexico and they'll get to about Texas where they're going to breed and lay eggs and die. And then the generation that emerges from that's the first generation and that's the one that we may see in spring. We don't usually see very many of them here, um, but they will, they are the, a non-migratory generation. So they're only gonna live a month, but they're gonna keep moving northward. Uh, near the end of their life cycle, they're going to mate, lay eggs, another generation will emerge, they'll keep moving further north, and we'll keep going through these subsequent generations as some of them will get all the way up to parts of Canada. And the fourth generation, once we get to the fourth one, that's the generation that comes out as a migratory generation, so the one that lives longer, the one that has longer four wings, and then they emerge, they emerge in reproductive diapause, so they won't mate and they won't lay eggs, and wherever they've emerged from, which can be as far as northern Canada, but it can also be anywhere from Oklahoma to northern Canada, they will start migrating all the way back to Mexico, and then the cycle starts all over again. The best time to observe monarchs in Oklahoma is during the migration in the fall, which peaks for us around September, October, and that's the generation that's moving to Mexico to overwinter in the oleomal fir trees. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.